When the 101,000 ton Carnival Destiny entered service in January 1997, it marked a new era. For the first time, a cruise ship had eclipsed in size the largest transatlantic liner ever built, the Queen Elizabeth. I don't know, it's a few dozen 747s at one time. I mean, it's, it's just a massive, uh, it's a city at sea. Uh, and it's going to be an, uh, a city that people are going to have an absolutely fabulous time. For its 3,000 passengers, Destiny is a place on the high seas where ship and destination merge. But its sheer size has generated both a heightened mix of expectation and skepticism. The lights you see on the wall are handmade Venetian glass panels that are... To market Destiny, Carnival invited press and travel agents on a pre-maiden voyage of the $400 million ship. It's fun. What they discovered was that the market leader had brashly forced the boundaries of cruise ship design yet again. The ship is fine. It's a little bit garish. It's a Vegas theme, Orlando theme, orange, purples, young crowd. It's a 70 million uh, person market in Vegas and Orlando every year. That's what they're trying to capture. They do a very good job of that. Their mindset is that it's uh, like a city self-contained. The bigger, the better, as far as the public's concerned. In its first year, Destiny overturned industry perceptions of how big is too big. It proved such a spectacular success that the company ordered two more ships in the series. But in doing so, it is set into play a game of one-upmanship for size, unparalleled since the heyday of the ocean liner. Carnival's fiercest competitors, Royal Caribbean Lines and P&O's Princess Line, immediately announced the building of cruise ships larger than destiny. Royal Caribbean's billion dollar Project Eagle will see the construction of not one, but two 130,000 ton megaliners. We're in the period of the largest big liner construction of all time, far greater than ever happened before. Next year, the Queen Elizabeth will no longer even be in the top 25 largest liners because there are so many big cruise ships coming out. But I think ships will get larger and there will be more amenities and there will be more choice that are offered to the traveling public. Um, where it will end is difficult to say. Already on the drawing board are vessels that will dwarf even the largest cruise ships and propel the evolution of passenger ships into a new realm. This ship would be 250,000 gross registered tons, and that's well over twice the biggest ones on the drawing board, and more than three times larger than the biggest ship operating today. Be a quarter of a mile long. She's taller than the Statue of Liberty. This is not a race for size. It's not an effort to set records or anything of that sort. This is distinctly a new generation, market-driven product, which is designed not as a cruise ship. It goes past that evolution in the use of passenger ships to a new stage. This is a city ship, and it is designed to appeal to any market that a city would appeal to. Probably the cost of the ship will be on the order of $1 billion, uh, $200 million. 